Welcome back guys. In this episode, I'm going to talk about two examples and hopefully these two examples are going to help us understand what we are doing in mechanism design. So the first example is relatively simpler. And in fact, you can be facing that type of problems in your real life uh, many times. So it's the cake uh, splitting problem or cake division problem. Uh, so think of an environment where a parent father uh, who has two kids, Bob and Alice, wants to divide a cake uh, among his kids uh, fairly. All right. So again, this is the we are trying to talk about an institution. So let's talk about the ingredients of this institutions. Institutions. So who are the participants? Two kids, the Bob and the Alice. These are the participants. Well, what about the father? Is he a participant? Well, he doesn't want to eat the cake. So he doesn't really benefit out of this, uh, the, the outcome. And so um, he is not really a participant. We call him as a mechanism designer, code and code. Okay, so he's going to design a way of dividing the cake uh, so that the kids can consume the cake. All right, well, what is the private information here? Well, the private, well, I'm sorry, let's talk about the outcomes. What are the outcomes? Well. We don't want to talk about any outcome. We want to uh, focus on fair outcome. So what does fair outcome means? Well, fair outcome uh, is basically a division of the cake in such a way that no kid is going to envy his or her sibling. All right. So, for example, if we divide the cake in such a way that one kid gets a one quarter and the other kid gets three quarter. And so the, 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 the kid who gets a smaller share may actually envy the other kid, uh, his, his or her sibling. So we don't want this to happen. Well, obviously, you're going to say, uh, well, envy free outcome or fair outcome. Uh, is, is possible only if we know these kids' preferences, right? Uh, I mean, do they really like a bigger share or do they like maybe a smaller share where more fruits are in it? So let's suppose, by the way, the cake is not homogeneously and uniformly uh, uh, sort of shaped or organized, meaning, you know, in some parts there are more fruits than others maybe. Um, and so... Uh, or again, maybe even if it is a uniform, maybe uh, one of the kids prefer more fruit uh, or chocolate than uh, having a bigger uh, a, a piece. So we don't know that. The parent doesn't know that. Well, one way to... Uh, so this is the private information site of this institution. So one way for the parent to figure this out is to ask his kids. Well, obviously asking is not going to uh, probably... Uh, I mean, we don't know. Uh, the kids may not actually answer truthfully, uh, you know, how they like their uh, cake. But one way of designing this institution is the following. Um, the father selects one of his kids, uh, Bob or Alice, doesn't matter. But let's say he picks Bob. Well, then Bob takes the knife, cuts the cake into two pieces, and then... Uh, Alice selects one of the pieces and the remaining piece goes to Bob. All right, so this is the mechanism. This is the rule. Well, the question is, how can we make sure that this will always lead to a fair outcome? Well, kind of simple. Whatever the kid's preferences, whatever the Bob's preferences, he should make sure that he's going to cut in such a way that both pieces are equally likable for him. Well, why is that? Well, because... If he ends up in one piece where he actually likes the least, all right, well, he's going to envy uh, his sibling's uh, share. So therefore, he's going to be make sure that he cuts the cake in such a way that he actually is going to like both cakes equally, in a sense. Well, then uh, the, the Alice is going to choose the uh, piece which actually she likes the most, right? Because otherwise, if she prefers, I mean, I'm sorry, if she, if she chooses the piece that she likes the least, well, she's going to envy uh, her sibling. So what happens is that Bob actually therefore gets a, a piece that was equally likable with the Alice's piece, and Alice actually gets the best piece that she could ever had. You see what I mean? So, uh, that is, by the way, a, a very old problem. 
uh, which uh, dates all the way back to Old Testament. And the solution is also uh, 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 very, very old. But in this environment, this is a mechanism uh, where it will always lead to a fair quote-unquote uh, outcome. Okay?